Hi, my name's Marissa. I'm one of the co-hosts of Book Talks Podcast, and this is Reading with Ress. Okay, the June picks for Book of the Month were literally just released. I've been refreshing my computer like crazy. If you don't know what Book of the Month is, it is a book subscription box where you get to choose a vetted and approved hardcover book every month. They usually release five to seven options. Love this subscription service. You can get the hardcovers for about $16 a month, give or take your subscription status. What I love about it though is then you can add on additional books for only $10, which is a very good deal since normally hardback books are anywhere from $15 to $30. So I do have a referral code if you'd like to use it. I will link that down below. Definitely consider signing up if this interests you, but if not, let's just get right into the June book of the month picks because whew, June is my birthday month and I get a free add-on, so I am so excited for this month. Okay, we are starting off strong. The first book of the month pick for June is called The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. It is in the genre fantasy. It says, good to know, it's action-packed, based on a classic, first in a series, and it's a quest. So, like a certain famous lamp, this novel will grant wishes for a perfect fantasy with dark magic and a dangerous quest. This sounds really good. You know what? I'm not even going to think about it. I'm making that my book of the month. But let's keep going because there are so many good options this month. And the next one's a thriller, which is what I usually always choose. The Lies I Tell. This is a repeat author. It says, this twisty cat and mouse story will have you ripping through the pages to find out who the true con woman is. The Lies I Tell is by Julie Clark. It is psychological, based on female friendships, a non-linear timeline, so it's probably going to jump around, which some people don't like, and an unreliable narrator, which is my favorite thing. You know what? I'm adding it to the box. I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am for these picks. The next one, ooh, ooh, this looks good too. It is called The Lifestyle. Is it just The Lifestyle? The Lifestyle, a novel? Regardless, The Lifestyle by Taylor Hahn. It is contemporary fiction. This provocative novel asks a salacious question. Why settle for the one when you could swing for twice the fun? <laughs> Sorry, I am an adult. I can handle this. Good to know. It's an LOL book, salacious, marriage issues, and it's set in New York City. This... <laughs> This sounds funny. I am truly shocked that Book of the Month picked this. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't be shocked. I'm just surprised. We're going to move on because we have another thriller and that's my weakness. This is called Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hillier. This is an early release, which means you actually get the book before it's released. It is about, or it's quick take says, Caught in the paparazzi's glow after her husband's murder, Paris Peralta quickly learns all that glitters isn't gold. Whew. This one is told from multiple viewpoints, something I'm not a huge fan of, but I've kind of learned to enjoy. It's about murder. It says it's buzzy. I don't know what that means, and it's unsettling. Oof. I love unsettling. So Sherry Lapina actually already reviewed it, and she loved it. And I can't tell you much more about that because I don't know who Jennifer Hillier is. I know who Sherry LePenna is, and she reviewed it and loved it, but I've never heard of Jennifer Hillier. So I think it's probably going to be a really good one. I mean, the thrillers at Book of the Month are always very good, so I anticipate that will also be good. But for now, I'm going to stick with The Lies I Tell by Julie Clark because she's a repeat author and I've heard of her. So we're going to stick, we're going to stick with that. <laughs> Moving on. Woman of Light, which is in the category Literary Fiction by Kali Fajardo Anstein. It says, this epic yet intimate story shows three generations of women trying to make a life in the perilous 30s American West. It is, it includes social issues, LGBTQ plus themes, slow build, which is interesting, let's get back to that, and graphic violence. It, it's not a romance, it's literary fiction, and normally when I think of slow build, I think of romance. So I guess we are talking about slow build in the context of the book. As many of you know, I don't like historical fiction, and I know this says literary fiction, but it is set in the 30s American West. 
also just not really a time period I'm, I'm into, I guess. So this one's not for me. Last but not least, this is historical fiction. It says, it is, it is called The Wedding Dress Sewing Circle by Jennifer Ryan. And the cover I really like, it's three women, clearly from like World War II era, the 40s I would think. And they're sewing dresses. Anyway, prepare to be inspired by this winning story of women challenging the expectations laid on them by society during World War II. So I was right, World War II. Good to know. It's inspirational. Real life characters. Ooh, real life characters. Female friendships and war. I am truly not into historical fiction, but if I was going to try one, it would be this because I, I really like inspirational messages. Now, I don't want to cry, and this would probably make me cry because it's involving female friendships and war, but it has, it looks like very good reviews, and again, not for me because it's historical fiction, but if I was going to try historical fiction, this would be it. Okay, so that is it. They gave us six picks this month. I think they all sound really good. I think the first three sound the best, and then obviously the fourth because it's a thriller, and the last two just aren't my cup of tea, but they, they sound good, but the, I'm still going to stick with the start of sorry, The Stardust Thief as my book of the month and The Lies I Tell by Julie Clark as my June add-on. Part of me wants to get the Swingers book because it's, it's a debut, actually. I didn't mention that, I don't think. So is The Stardust Thief. It's a debut and The Lifestyle is debut. So uh, part of me wants to get it, but... I don't, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to wait, see what the reviews say about it, and then if I want to add it on next month, I always have the option to do that. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it was the first thing you saw today and that you were so pumped up about these books. I love book of the month. Lately, I have felt like they've been a little slacking in their selections, but last month was good, this month is good, so we are on an upward trend here, and I'm, I'm hoping we're going to stick that way. Again, I do have a referral code, which I will uh, put in my description box, so if you're interested, again, don't feel pressured, but if you're interested in signing up for Book of the Month, you can use that. I think June looks really good, and thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you later. <laughs>